It's been a while since I did a video about a new camera and to say that I'm not excited to share with you guys my thoughts on this new camera is definitely a huge understatement. Today I thought about just sharing with you guys my overall thoughts on this new gem of a camera, Fuji X-T5. Also, I would like to thank Fuji Malaysia for sending me out this unit so early on in the production and I really am so grateful. As always, this isn't going to be a full on review type of video and I won't be sharing detailed specs too in this video. Also in this video, I am only going to share with you guys photographs I took with the X-T5. They aren't going to be any videos at all taken with the X-T5 too since I really didn't have a lot of time with it. Well, maybe this one in 6K 24P. <laughs> Okay, so let's first look at the camera. First thing that struck me about the Fuji X-T5 is its size. It has seriously shrunk a whole lot more compared to its predecessor, the Fuji X-T4. When I first held it in my hands, it did really feel kind of weird, but familiar too at the same time, because now the Fuji X-T5 feels more like a Fuji X-T3, which I love so much, but I ended up selling only because I wanted IBIS, so I had to get the larger X-T4 just for that. As far as the screen is concerned, concern on the X-T5, it is a bit of a controversial thing because it's back to the tilty type screen and in my opinion, Fuji has finally decided to make the X-T series back into its original purpose which is a photographer's camera first and that has always been the blueprint of the X-T series. To me, the tilty screen is great because it reduces the sideways footprint of the Fuji X-T cameras and also to be honest, using a flippy screen for photography definitely has its awkward moments too. Having to always offset the camera to the side for a shot instead of shooting it bang on straight is at least for me kind of a bit awkward at times. If I could have the cake and eat it too, I would have loved to see that Fuji made the flippy screen into a tilty Access. flippy screen tilty. hybrid like the and one R2 that you see on the A7R5 screen. and also on the all, and also on the Panasonic S1H because there are times when I do find a flippy screen to be quite useful and also there are times I really I wish it was a tilty screen. Another thing about the screen is that I really did feel that it was a missed opportunity that Fuji didn't really upgrade the LCD screen on this camera and also the EVF is still at 3.69 uh, megapixels. So I do feel it's kind of a missed opportunity here. They should have bumped up the EVF, but anyway, it is what it is. Okay, in terms of film simulation, I really did enjoy using the Fuji X-T5's newer film simulation, especially the classic negative. And I really feel that the thing that really stood out most about this camera has to be the fact that the AF system is revamped. I really feel that the AF system is really good. It even comes with tracking for animals, birds and people and a lot of other stuff, even cars and stuff like that. So I really think it's such a warm welcome that everyone is going into that direction right now and where it comes to AF. The AF was really sticky and it really did catch on focus and even focusing on eyes from a distance. So I'm really pleased with the AF. It's nothing like the XT4. So yeah, kudos to Fuji on that. Also, the thing that I can't overlook has definitely got to be its new CMOS at 40.2 megapixels. I'm so glad that they put more megapixels in this tiny APS-C camera because there were definitely times when I used to crop in to my images on the XT4 and I just wish that it had more megapixels in the camera. And this camera really did answer that wish list that I've always wanted in the XT4. And I am so happy about that. I mean, I know it's always best to get things right in camera and not crop in but you know there are times where we don't really get the luxury to get things right in camera all the time so now I have this ability to crop in a lot closer with this camera and I'm seriously seriously so happy about that right so what's my conclusion after using the Fuji X-T5 for about three or four days now well after passing the camera back I really miss it now in fact I pre-ordered one the minute the camera was announced in my opinion I feel the Fuji X-T5 is such a great all-round camera to have I thoroughly enjoyed using it and it was just amazing. It's one of those cameras that brings back the joy into photography back again, in my opinion. And I feel many companies definitely should take a note or two from Fuji and how they bring this emotive quality back to camera and photography and, and the whole works. I always find that shooting with Fuji is just a lot of fun. And I think that is important too, because how a camera makes you feel is just as important. In fact, I did a review on the Fuji X100V a while back and you can watch that review if you want to find out what I felt about that camera. Oh, 
also a little side tracking. I do wish that Fuji does make a mode where the Fuji X-E5 can assemble a time-lapse movie from within the camera itself, as I find that feature to be so useful to have, especially if you are traveling. Because of that, I tend to always bring my EOS R5 everywhere with me, even while I'm traveling, even if I do bring my X-T camera, simply because that camera can shoot time-lapses and make it into a movie from within the camera. And it's so useful because it's, it's not all the time that I actually want to assemble all the frames in post just to make a time lapse. There are times I really want a quick turn around and make a time lapse and post them really quickly. And I really do wish that Fuji does take what I'm saying in this video about the, this feature. I just find that that feature is such a useful feature to have because as it is, the XD series is a really tiny camera. And I think it really does deserve having an inbuilt time lapse, you know, movie maker in there. So yeah, Fuji, please do that. That will be so useful to have. So I guess the question boils down to who is the Fuji X-T5 really meant for? Well, to me, if you are an X-T4 user, it's a bit of a hit and miss. If you have been using your flippy screen a lot and you love the flippy screen, then I don't really think that this X-T5 is gonna be much of an upgrade for you. It might in fact be the opposite. It might be a bit of a downgrade if you have to start using monitors all the time just to monitor your stuff while you're filming. What I really do like is that Fuji has clearly made things a lot easier for video makers and and photographers these days because I guess gone are the days where you can actually use an X-T5 and think that you have a flippy screen. Fuji has done something that a lot of people didn't think they would actually do which is go back to the tilty screen and what this actually does is that it clearly separates the X-T series from the X-H2 series so now if you are a video centric shooter then the X-H2 or the X-H2S would make more sense for you to actually get instead of the X-T series. So the X-T series have become more of a photographer's camera first sort of camera and I kind of like that because I like the fact that they are focusing on what XD series cameras does best and to me that is that whole retro vibe or, you know emotive quality that that this camera does provide the user and yeah I like that Fuji is actually focusing on the fact that they want to make this camera a photo first camera and I think well done to Fuji on doing this. Anyway, if you do like this video and you did find this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all those wonderful things for my algorithms to work. Also, if you are interested in the gears that I use to shoot these type of videos or these videos, do check all the links are posted up in the description down below so do check them out also if you do feel like supporting this channel with a small contribution i did leave a link to buy me a coffee in the description down below so do check them out too right then i guess that's it for my video this time i hope you guys did enjoy see you guys in the next video peace